Mexico 2, Cameroon 2. That was our final warm-up game before the Nations League semifinal against the U.S. next week. And comment down below if you're feeling optimistic about that after the performances we've seen recently. One word to describe how Mexico plays football, wasteful. We are the opposite of clinical. I'm not going to get on here and be hyperbolic and act like that was the worst game I've ever seen or Mexico got completely dominated. Mexico were not dominated. We just lack true quality on several parts of the pitch, especially in the attack. I mean, Jesus Christ. Christ, every time Antuna got the ball today, it resulted in absolutely nothing. We just had no idea what to do once we got near the Cameroonian box. And this is a problem that has persisted for a while, especially if we don't have our three star players up top, Chucky Lozano, Tecatito, and Santi Jimenez. There, we just don't have the depth. Quite frankly, there's just no other answers on this team. It was so frustrating to watch. I felt like De La Rosa, he could not hold the ball up at all. I know that the Cameroonians and Kunku, and I forgot the other guy's name, he's got a Spanish last name. I know that they're physically imposing players, but I mean, we, we, we were getting nothing up top. Absolutely nothing. Thank God that Cameroon did not have Onana, who played the Champions League final earlier today, and Gisa from Napoli, Abubakar, because if they brought all of their starting 11, their true starting 11, to play this version of Mexico, I know we're missing guys too, but to play this version of Mexico, I don't think we, we get out with the draw. Cameroon had the two best players on the pitch, Toko Okambi and Embuemo, hands down. I look at both goals that we conceded today, and I can't really blame either on Diego Coca. Luis Romo, who, who actually had a decent game overall, just gets completely bullied off the ball in the middle of the pitch. He's got so much time. He has so many options. He's got four teammates wide open that he could just play it off to. He's standing straight up. It's like the guy forgot he was in a football match for a split second, and then just like that, Cameroon are on the counter. Mexico still have numbers, though. It shouldn't be a goal, but then Nestor Araujo with the weakest challenge I've seen from a Mexican international. Like, what are you doing? I would have rather him gone to ground with a risky slide tackle than whatever weak ass side foot nudge that he put on the ball there. And the second goal with Luis Malagon, man. Look, I think Malagon's been impressive, at least in club form recently. I can't remember at this point in time any other horrible howler that he's had for the Mexican national team. If I'm forgetting, you guys let me know. But I think this is the worst one he's ever had. That being said, I don't think that this man can be considered for either the Gold Cup or the Nations League. Not that he really was to begin with, right? I mean, if Acevedo doesn't get hurt in the warm-ups, then he's playing this match. But, I mean, I, I kind of feel for the guy because I think he's I think he's done a decent job, but we're just going to remember this mistake, and I feel like it's going to cost him big time with the national team down the road. I will give Diego Coca credit that the substitutes did result in a goal. Henry Martin, who, again, I felt like he didn't really do anything except, like, fouled the Cameroonian center backs about four or five times uh, when, right when he came on, but he did get the assist, and it was a very good play. I think the Henry Martin at the World Cup shoots that and god knows what happens but i'm glad to see that he's at least learned some positional awareness reads the run by kevin alvarez which was fantastic and puts the perfect weight on the ball and it's a good finish from kevin alvarez as well i will give him credit and what was that like the 90 second minute so it, it literally saved the match and if that didn't happen then you know we're looking at our, what was it our first defeat against an african team in a friendly since 2005 one of the biggest problems i keep seeing with this team is that there's absolutely no spearhead for the attack mexico did a really good job several times in this game counter-attacking effectively but as soon as the ball got even close to that Cameroonian box. It's like everyone in Mexico freaks out. They have no idea what they're doing. Nobody's making any runs. And Tuna gets the ball and just like likes to do his little fake cross drag back, which works 10% of the time. It's just completely ineffective. And when we are playing the United States, what is it? Is it next Thursday? We cannot afford to waste chances like that. I noticed it a lot against Cameroon as well, that because we're playing with a back three, we are very susceptible to teams that have very skilled wingers, which is going to be a problem against the United States. And honestly, it's going to be a problem against any team that's even half decent. I feel very torn and conflicted right now because on one hand, it's a comeback draw against a very solid team. And that, that takes guts, that takes drive. The team never stopped playing, and that's a genuine positive. On the downside, this is yet another match in which Mexico shoots themselves in the foot 
whether it's an own goal or just some horrible, horrible play in the back. And these problems cannot continue. We can get away with it against Guatemala, but we can't do that against a better team. You guys let me know in the comments right now, bro. Are you going Jorge Sanchez or Kevin Alvarez against the US? I feel like you can't go Jorge Sanchez. That might sound harsh, but I just need to see a good performance, like a really, really good performance with the national team. I just, they just don't happen, man. Is there a man of the match? I mean, I feel like the cop-out is to say Chavez. Um, tough to give it to Martin or Alvarez just because they came on in the 75th minute of the other starters. Dude, I, I, I'm not giving it to Israel Reyes. I, I'm just not. He makes too many mistakes. I'm sorry. Like, again, I like the guy. For God's sake, leave Mexico. Get out of Liga Mekis. Because I'm, t I'm telling you, man, I'm scared. I feel like he's maxed out. This is the best version of Israel Reyes we're ever going to see because he's comfortable. He's already making intra Liga Mekis transfers out of America. He's whatever. He's a starter. Life is good. We've seen it so many times. If he doesn't leave that he's never going to be the true international quality that we need. And and yeah, I think Mexico, we need some wins. Draws are cool, but the last few teams we've beaten have been Suriname twice and Guatemala. Bro, we really need Tecatito and Chucky so bad, don't we? And even Santi Jimenez and Johan Vasquez, please. What the hell happened to my hair? Please give me those guys. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Um, C, C plus performance from Diego Coca. We're gonna need to see more next week, man. Gonna need to see more next week. Uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.